Hi, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. Build of the Week is a weekly video series that showcases interesting character builds created by Path of Exile community members. This fourth season of Build of the Week will start off with a couple of PvP builds. Today's build is a powerful level 28 Ark and Spark Witch that would be a great first build for players wanting to get into PvP. Both Ark and Spark in this build have the same set of support gems affecting them, and can be used in different situations. Ark doesn't require aiming, has better range, better shock chance, clears traps, and works very well against multiple opponents. Spark is great in confined spaces and can easily shotgun close up opponents. The support gems selected are Enhance, Empower, Lightning Penetration, and Added Lightning Damage. The Enhanced gem can be swapped out for Block Penetration in certain matchups. This build uses a very typical toolkit of utility PvP skills. Herald of Thunder plus Blind is used to clear traps and to blind the opponent occasionally. Temporal Chain supported by Cast when stunned will slow the opponent if they get a hit in. Rejuvenation Totem and Arcticama are very good defensive skills. Molten Shell is used to absorb damage and to provide a nasty surprise for opponents who hit you in melee range. In terms of items, the choices are pretty different than what you would see in a regular high level build of the week episode. Tabula Rasa is a relatively easy to obtain and massively flexible 6 link item that is so important for most PvP builds that we'd recommend trying to obtain one early in your PvP career. Ideally, getting one that has been corrupted to plus 1 gem levels is a good long term plan. The Atzeri's Foible Unique Amulet is very important for this build, not only because it greatly eases the mana consumption of the mana hungry 6 link spells, but also because it reduces attribute requirements to allow for more efficient item and passive choices. There are occasionally important matchup specific sideboard item choices you need to make. For example, these rare boots are great, but against certain opponents you really want to be wearing Wanderlust so that you can't be frozen. Fairgrave's Tricorn is important if you're worried about being shocked or having your line snag. As you can expect, getting really good level 28 PvP rares is very important. The stats that are important for this build are the obvious life, resists, mana, mana regen, cast speed, spell damage, and lightning damage. One of the nice things about describing a level 28 build is that the passive tree is quite straightforward. There's a determined focus on spell damage and lightning damage, as well as life and mana. If your version of this build requires even more mana due to the items you're using, then there are some very easy nodes to claim here. Arc also has the benefit that it punishes opponents for using animated guardians or totems. If there's an additional target out, it'll cause Arc to bounce back and hit them for a second time. This is also very good in team games, for obvious reasons. You'll probably note that this particular PvP character has made some relatively expensive item choices. While these definitely increase its power, the build works really well even with budget items, so give it a try. The author of this build has written an excellent guide that includes details of how to play various matchups. We'd recommend checking it out for more information. If you'd like to submit a build for next week's episode, just post a build guide in the class forums on pathofexile.com. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.